if you've got to give hope to our children and to the millions of young people in this country who today feel that this society is not for them. Education is the way forward in South Africa. The developing world needs the social sector to contribute towards ensuring that potential people, uh, young people, are provided with the know-how and the self-esteem to reach out and take up leadership positions. But we're not just interested in fixing up one school. We're interested in fixing up a community. Bombardier came into South Africa to build a train and they would like to contribute towards social development and they have understood that education is the key. Bombardier sees the How Train Rapid Rail contract in South Africa as an opportunity to address the challenges we feel are the most critical in the future of transportation. We have to address the issue of what are the skills required to maintain all of this very expensive infrastructure that we are investing in as a country. To identify the skills needed to build a rail workforce that meets the future needs for South Africa, we reached out to our partners, the South African government, corporate partners, and a comprehensive academic network. We believe these partnerships will also meet the future needs of Bombardier. So a prerequisite is a parallel training program that does create that human capacity. Because the last thing you want, which is our experience today, is that our capacity to maintain the infrastructure is being severely undermined by our lack of skills. The STARS program was developed to meet specific needs in South Africa. The STARS Young Learner program identifies students in grades 10, 11, and 12 and supports them in math, language, and science. The STARS Further Learning Scholarship Program provides merit-based financial support for learners on both college and technician academic tracks. The STARS Innovation Program supports research and training at the postgraduate level in areas specific to Bombardier's current and future contracts in South Africa. The STARS Program builds a quality regional and global Bombardier workforce. We decided to create the Young Learners Program at the Atemba Institute of Technology in Soweto, a township just outside of Johannesburg that has a population of over 3 million people. The Atemba Institute of Technology is basically a technical school which um, offers uh, mechanical engineering, graphic engineering and electrical engineering. It is the only technical school in Soweto. We're supporting students at Atemba not only with scholarships, but an academic boost program where we bring in all the learners at Atemba grades 10, 11, and 12 for a Saturday tutoring program which reinforces all basic academic skills. We managed to secure this fine facility in the heart of Soweto, uh, the heart of what we would call uh, poor South Africa, you know, and the heart of, and in the heart of where people were really, really struggling. Uh, to find worthwhile employment. South Africa is short of electrical engineers and we need schools like Itemba which can help us in developing such professions in these areas. These learners are the future of South Africa's transportation industry. The other area we decided to initiate the Young Learners Program is the Inyanga Township outside of Cape Town. Inyanga is a township very close to Cape Town it has been recorded recently as having the highest crime rate in the world. Gangsterism, uh, use of drugs and uh, petty crime is, is rife in that community. Young people has nowhere to turn to. They are lost. I see in the next five years um, many students, le young learners from the townships who would go through our program and enter into tertiary institutions. We would mentor them even at the university and lead them on till they have uh, finished their university and are placed in jobs. I think the school is giving us 
the opportunity to be much more greater people because South Africa is in sort of shortage of engineers. By them giving us opportunities of becoming engineers, um, it would make a better and a bigger change in South Africa. When I suffer from school, I can ask questions here. Yeah. They have good time management and they motivate us and they I mean like it's so exciting when I'm here, I, I have joy and I'm, I feel free. One times minus one is minus one. Bombardier has created a research part of the program called Innovation. Innovation supports transportation research by integrating partnerships between the South African government, industry and academia. There's hidden talent that is currently not being identified the previously disadvantaged students that lived in these rural areas now have a chance to be identified and fast-tracked into positions where their full talent can be realized. The core of the innovation program supports postgraduate students who through research are building a sustainable and visionary transportation sector in South Africa. Our university is working on the, its transformation to a comprehensive university and what we are expected to work on is to develop career-focused programs and in this respect uh, we find that transportation is one of the areas where we are going to develop the diploma program. If we can merge the best of international knowledge and the local knowledge that we have established in South Africa, I'm just sure that is an absolute win-win situation. This program is a global investment in people. The role of the private sector in this is I can't stress it enough. It is a prerequisite. It is imperative. We're building long-term strategic partnerships with governments, academic networks, and industry. We as a company, or as a consortium, are committed to taking excellence back to the townships. We are committed to delivering skills that get people decent jobs. I think we can make South Africa a better place. Ring the bells when you come back Will it be to the drums when you